Yeah, just get the uh, green mic. Alrighty, here we have your boys TRW, Big Guava, and Unknown, my, do my boy Nico. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Yep, and we're going to start it off. Buddha versus Joshua. Bowser Jr. and Fox. Not a very common matchup. I would say this is in Fox's uh, favor, simply the up tilts. Mm -hmm. I mean, so heavy. Bowser Jr. is just so heavy. Man. Yeah, he's so heavy, and he's a fairly large. He has a fairly large hitbox. Not a tall one, but it's just really large in general because of that cart. And also the reflector. You can't count that out. Whenever you have a Mecha Koopa going near you, I'm pretty sure you can just reflect it. I don't know if it's close enough to where it can latch onto you, but I know stuff like Mario's cape will work and turn it around. Man, I, I must say, this is as stacked a bracket as we've had. Man. Oh, definitely. So 80, yeah, 80 people, a whole bunch of different states. This is nearly a regional here. And I like what we're seeing from Josh Watt. Every time Fox has the illusion back to stage, he's making sure he does he throws out a hitbox to clink with. Right, and that's something Bowser Jr. is really good at. He has such large hitboxes just to throw out. The fair is something, it's a really big, meaty move. He has no problem with throwing out hitboxes. Unfortunately, whenever he gets shielded, that's his main problem because he doesn't have a very good grab, and that F smash is going to take it. One of the strongest F smashes on the game. People don't understand that. And especially since it got buffed like a year ago to where it became a lot faster and a lot less end lag, it's become a whole lot more useful move. I'm really surprised that Joshua isn't throwing out any Mecha Koopas. Exactly, like just just to have him on the stage and just makes the fire yeah, make the other player twice as weird. Yeah, I guess I guess he heard me say it because he finally threw one out. Like it's such a good and important tool in Bowser's arsenal. It sets up stage control, especially whenever people start, you know, getting wise to your cart antics. Right. I mean, just look at the oh my, oh my, he's got rage, lots of rage. This is scary for Fox. Oh, yeah. oh. Nice shine oh by Buddha. Not, he's just trying to get back on stage. However, he is meeting that wall. Joshua is not letting him. Joshua is just, he's put so much pressure on him. He's keeping him in the corner. This, oh, of course, oh. Smash. That'll do it. Oh, my. That'll do what it. Showing from Joshua Watt. Mm -hmm. And he's. Huh? I'm just, I'm just trying to. It's on, uh, yeah. Bear, it's yeah. a little bit, it's a little bit low. All right, let's see if Buddha's going to stay Fox. I'm not very familiar with the player, so I have not the foggiest idea who Holly plays other than Fox. I saw him play a lot of Fox in doubles. Well, we, what we do know about DB Buddha, though, is he did just finish second in doubles with mm. his teammate Hughes from Oklahoma. So he's by no means a, a bad player. Exactly. He might be unfamiliar. I don't know how many Bowser Juniors are out there, but that's got to be a weird yeah. matchup for somebody not from this state. Mm -hmm. Very seldom, I'm going to assume. Let's see where he's going. He's going Dreamland. You know, I Bowser Jr. can go all the way under stage and rise up on the other side. This this might be beneficial with the small blast zones also for Fox. Yeah. The problem is I don't see Joshua going underneath the stage very often. I think the only one that really does that is Abyssal <laughs> because of how aggressive he is. But nice block and nice gr shield grab by Buddha. And he's starting to use his shield a whole lot more. That's where Bowser Jr. falters in this matchup. And any matchup in general because he can't do anything against the shield. Yeah, I was going to say, if I'm the Fox, I just want to get him cornered with these up tilts. Start up tilts to shield. You know he's going to act out of it and try to do something on the way down. Mm -hmm. Because Bowser Jr. is still heavy. He's very much combo -fit. Yeah. He's just very strong. However, he's only heavy if you continuously hit the cart. If you hit the mushy part <laughs> that is Bowser Jr., right. you're going to get a multiplied knockback. He's going to fly a lot farther. And Buddha doing a lot better in this in this game than the previous one. Uh, you know, I have expected Joshua Watt right. Oh my, forward smash on the edge. Oh, and as I say that, nice DI by Buddha. He's going to just... He had charged a half second long. Oh mm. my, that was a nice ground dodge. Yeah, and Buddha now control of the center of the stage. He has Bowser Jr. up. He's using these platforms to try to pop him up Whoa, and getting the up smash. Him down. Nice play by Buddha. And now Joshua is going to not... He's going to not... Going to need and try to get onto the ground. Unfortunately, Bowser Jr. doesn't exactly have the best of landing options. He has the side cart, but still he can be hit out of it because it doesn't have a hitbox. 
And up B is all right, but it leaves him so vulnerable if you don't know how to utilize the hammer as well as someone like Abyssal. It's definitely looking like Buddha has downloaded the, the Bowser Jr. right now. He's had firm stage control for the, almost the entire game. Mm -hmm. But this is the scary part. Bowser Jr. will have lots of rage if he's able to take the stock quickly. And right. Well. Yeah, if he gets hit by that F smash. Oh. Ooh. And that, mm -hmm. Back here. Showing these advanced techniques. And now we Joshua, have it. Are you staying the same or are you maybe making a change? They say he has a corn, a Falco. I'm going to assume corn's going to do a lot better. But it looks like he's going to stay. He's going to take him to Duck Hunt. He's going to get a lot. He's going to get a flatter stage and it's going to give him a lot more to room since Duck Hunt is a rather large stage. It takes up almost the entire screen. And it gives him a lot of room to just run around with his card. I think he's doing his back airs way too early with this card. There we go. That was, that was a little better. Yeah, because back air can auto cancel, exactly. but it doesn't seem like he's getting the timing down right. And there we go. The Mecha Koopa getting reflected. Yeah, okay, here we go. Fox thing. Mm -hmm. Just getting the straight up up tilts. Fantastic, Mr. Fox. See Joshua, he's playing really defensively here. He's, he's got to go. I mean, he's, he can go be the aggressor right now. You know, he's got a bigger stage where he can be able to live longer, have way more shenanigans. But I, I agree with you. He's got to utilize that makeup. Yeah, he's playing really still, and Buddha is doing really well at capitalizing that. Buddha's not letting pressure up. He's Unfortunately, the now the thing, the reason why that Joshua did not hear the shine going off because Fox was covered up by the grass and the monitor doesn't have sound. So Joshua couldn't have, you know, it was, it would have been a lot harder for Joshua to tell that it got reflected. Other than the fact that it's coming towards him. There we go. He started, uh, Buddha had got to the point where he was punishing every down air from Joshua. Joshua did much better that time going for uh, back air. He's fishing for his forward smash. Mm -hmm. He is really fishing for him. Like, take your time. You've got the rage. Set something up. Throw a Mecha Kuka out. Grab him. Yeah, it's like in poker. You okay. don't want to show your hand if you have something. If you have a trump card. Oh, oh. Ooh. Almost got him on the set. Yeah, he should have went for the up air there. Set. It, it would have hit. I guess he just misunderestimated the overall art of that, of that Mecha Kuka. Jab going to kill. Especially with all that rage. Let's see if Buddha can try to capitalize on this invincibility. He's not really going to. He really needs to take this stock of Joshua as early as he can. And he does. That up be catching the landing. Really good job by Buddha. Joshua and needs to. I, I, I can't say that enough. I'm an advocate of what you're saying. He has to keep a Mecha Koop out there just for the shenanigans. With that running around, you have to consciously make an effort to either reflect it or shield. Right, and while it's a little bit harder because Fox has a reflector, right. still you need to have something out. It's such an important part of Bowser Jr.'s kit. I agree. Like he could be going up into the tree and using it to throw out Mecha Koopas. Well, we see uh, Buddha having a little trouble with the timing of the Mecha Koopa reflecting it. Yeah, it's not exactly the easiest thing to try to pick up if you don't know it. Right. Like it's something that's really hard to just fill out in the heat of the moment. I wonder what a back throw would do right here for Buddha. I'm Maybe not too sure. I... While yeah, the blast, well, yeah, the dog. While the blast zones of Duck Hunt are kind of ridiculous, they're not that ridiculous. Although now. We're getting to the point to where Fox can be killed by a lot. Oh my, he's getting caught by Mecha Koopa after Mecha Koopa. Mm -hmm. Getting see, a Joshua little bit. Lott, Joshua Watt's got him out there. You got to clink with that. Oh. Joshua Watt not going out there. He could have gone for an edge guard or something. It's not like Fo it's not like you have to guess with Fox's recovery. Exactly. As long as he doesn't use illusion, you know where he's going to go. You want to take away that illusion and force the fire Fox. That's the way to edge guard the Fox. And he's Bowser fishing G for these forward smashes. He has to be careful because enough smash is going to end him, heavy or not. There you go. Follow up behind that mythical. That's the way. Oh. Ooh. Looks like he wasn't expecting to actually get the hit, and the up smash oh. is going to take it. 
Joshua Watt taking Oh taking my, the Joshua match. Watt with the upset. It ain't an upset here in Arkansas, baby. Of course it's not an upset.